you guys are gonna tap into a day in the, um, a day in the life of um, my Amazon DSP. And this is also the reality of what goes on sometimes behind the scenes with my lifestyle because if you watch my channel, you know that I travel a lot and I work on cars, you know, all these expensive hobbies. But sometimes, you know, this is the reality of shit behind the scenes, you know, that money doesn't grow on tree. So we're filming. I know I'm gonna get so many stairs, <laughs> but um, here we go. Yo, they gave me so many freaking packages today. I'm not too happy about that, but we gonna thug it out. We gonna thug it out. Okay. So normally I'm literally blasting music, but I don't wanna have to deal with copyright strikes and shit. So I guess I'm gonna have to go silent today. So here goes our first house. Um, and I need to get organized. I kind of just threw everything together. I know this camera on my head looks crazy. <laughs> Fuck it. For the sake of making content. I feel so weird. Simple as that. So I was 28. Okay. Back to the pain. So I plan on just recording a couple stops. I'm definitely not gonna do the whole day. But I wanted to just catch some footage and see what it looks like. Just have some fun. Yo, comment down below if you have done this job before anything similar like um ups or if you're from another country and you're watching do they have anything like this in your country like amazon or whatever because it's pretty popping here in the states you know what i mean all right so we got house 28 oh boy House 28 and house 31. Okay, so this is 28 right here. We're just gonna park on the wrong side of the road. Cause I'm a gangster like that and I don't give a fuck. So yeah, this job is pretty straightforward, but it can be very time consuming and tiring at times when it gets like, hold on. All right, so just got out of work. I am going to pick up some parts for my E46 BMW. I need to go pick up an expansion tank because tomorrow me and a homeboy are gonna go in and replace, do like an entire cooling system refresh because I'm gonna drift that thing and I've done a lot, a lot of research. And one thing that people always say about these cars, which is a weak point is the cooling system. So I literally bought a refresh kit from FCP Euro minus the um, radiator and obviously the expansion tank. Well, I thought it came with the expansion tank, but apparently it doesn't. So I have to go buy one, which is kind of annoying. But I ended up getting a eBay slash Amazon fully aluminum radiator, which should work fine. I've seen videos of people who run them and they do just fine. And plus, it's not like I have a turbo or anything. Like I'm literally on a stock engine. I just want to make sure I don't overheat. The next day. All right, so I am now on my way to the homie's house. Start working on this thing. We are going to do a cooling system overhaul. So I'm on the way. I'm li I literally just drove damn near an hour the wrong direction. So now I got to drive the same amount of time to the right address. So it was a whole mess. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm pissed. But uh, yep, I need an alignment so bad. Like. The way I'm holding the wheel right now is how I have to hold the wheel the entire drive, and it's like, yo, it's not, it's not fun. All right, guys, so we out here with the homie. Yeah, we there. Yeah, we're gonna start going in on this. We're draining the coolant, and see, we got the big boy radiator in here. And oh shit, hold on. Let's 
CP Euro box with the whole refresh kit. Coolant lines, uh, water pump, thermostat, everything, you name it. This one? Yeah. Yeah, it comes with the pants. Okay. You want Because... What? You think about deleting the... Yeah. The clutch fan? But, I mean, I don't know if that comes with the shroud, so... I mean, I guess it might be. But then attach this one. And it makes it like... So this is the water pump. And then... You put these up here. Like, Yo, look at my shit real quick. Does it say recording? Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright guys, so we got the the little oh this is heavier than I thought. We got the fan off. And we drained all of the coolant, which wasn't much. And now we just unplugging shit. You've done this before, so you have experience. So let me know if you want me to like disconnect other shit and everything like that. Oh uh, yeah, you could probably take this off, this hose off. Take right. off that sensor. You see that sensor on yeah. the holes, and then take off the holes. Okay. Probably use this. This might be a bit overkill. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I'll take off the expansion tape. Have you ever took it off before? Nah. Never. So like at the bottom, you see this tab? Yeah. There's this tab that like holds it in the bottom. You just gotta pull it out. And all right, water pump just came out. All right, so here goes the original water pump. As you see, it's plastic, which is not good because uh, eventually this will go bad and it can break apart and get all spread into the cooling system. So the new one I got is fully metal. So. All right, guys, so we're putting in the new water pump right now. Well, he is putting in the water pump. And as you see, this is a metal propeller, not plastic. So it should be good for a long time. Ain't that right? Long time, yes, sir. Ain't that right? Word. Yeah, it's coming out. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to overflow it very soon. You want to get as a get this out the way. Okay. Put it in water. Okay. Let me just go through. It's just until I come back there. Straight water now at this point. Nice. That's a whole coolant flush. So I went kind of overkill with this radiator and me and a friend had to do some modifications to get it to fit, but it still didn't fit quite right. And a result of that, because it kind of, the radiator doesn't sit underneath this, um, whatever you call this thing, it doesn't sit under there at all. It's like all the way out. So you have minimum space to work with. I mean, look how close the fans and shit are to the belts and everything. And the expansion tank got cut the other day because, um, yeah, if you see that, it was rubbing and it caused a leak. Pissed me off because I, I spent hours, we spent hours putting this stuff together. And I realized that the root of this problem is I went overkill with the radiator. And I should have just kept it simple, which is what I'm going to do. So I just got back from FCP Euro. I literally bought... Um, CSF OEM style radiator, new clutch fan, shroud, and, I, and another expansion tank. So I'm gonna put everything back together to make it OEM and everything is refreshed. I mean, new thermostat, new water pump, everything. So, so long story short, we're getting back to the drawing board and we're gonna start simple. 
A lot of people might say, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, no, no, just keep it, blah, blah, blah. But I know what I'm doing. I have the vision. And um, yeah, we're going to keep it simple. Simple is best. Daily drifter, basic drifter. I've seen plenty of guys on YouTube run stock cooling stuff and be just fine.